Hello all, Scott here. Welcome back to Let's Play Kinetic Void. Uh, this time around, I'm gonna show you the creative mode. Uh, there's already tons and tons and tons of designs um, that have been created by various players on the Steam Workshop. Uh, so I thought I might as well jump in and maybe load a few, or even try and create one myself. It is very much the same as the non-creative mode, but it allows you to build ships with an unlimited amount of parts, so I'll call that Scotty 2 and jump straight in. Once it loads, please. There we go. Right, so, as you can see, unlike when I initially spawned uh, in uh, non-creative mode, I have 9999 of everything. So I can flee freely switch between various sizes of things, so I can, if I go for size 5, which is absolutely bloody gigantic and select it correctly once it lets me oh god uh, 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 it's so big okay so that's that it's so big Jesus Christ okay I'm not gonna do it that big because I can't even see so let's try this one a smaller size as you can see it is a lot bigger uh, than the previous one it's the command and control center uh, on the right hand side there. Uh, so now I can go ahead and I can make just about anything I want. I don't know what DCM is and there's nothing in there for level 3 DCM. And what the hell is that? It's a hanger. Oh it's a hanger. So which way are you supposed to go Mr. Hanger? Oh I see. Can I like slot you on the edge there? I don't really understand how a hangar is meant to go like that. Have I put the ship the wrong way around? There is a chance I have put the ship the wrong way around. No? I don't get it. Okay. Uh, I'll do size 4 because that's obviously been weird. So I'll go for size 4. I'll try, I'm going to try and make a fully functional ship. Just for a giggle. Now what are you? Oh god, it's huge. You use shift to, to zoom out faster. Alright, oh, that, look, that looks really good, that. It's sort of like a, the front of the ship kind of reminds me of a bit of a Star Trek-ish, maybe like a, a, a big mothership sort of thing. So DCM, there's no hangers for level 4s apparently. Let's have a look at holes. Can, have I got anything that kind of matches, maybe? That doesn't match. Oh god. That doesn't match at all because that's going on sideways and that's not right. What are you? Ooh, that's too thin. What is this? <coughs> I'm pretty sure that eventually you'll be able to just sort of create entire ships. Like that sort of makes sense, I guess, maybe. Maybe. Ah, bugger it, I'll go with it. So there's this that sort of joins on. It's I think this ship's gonna be a little bit weird looking, but oh well. I'm just gonna play about just to give you an idea of what there is in the game at the moment. Oh god, no. What are you? I don't really understand why it shouldn't have do that. I'm not entirely sure how to rotate the parts because as you guys know I don't really tend to look at the controls. Uh, so I'm always sort of, ooh, I'm always kind of just playing as I go for it. So if I place that there, and then I place that there, and I place that there, and then I place that there, that sort of gives me room to add things on, I guess. Uh, I'll be able to add engines onto the back of that. So that's holes, engines. Let's have a look what engines I've got. Oh my god, that's huge, but I must use it. How's big that? That's massive. Can I like fit two of these on at the same time? Because that'd be funny. Yes! I can! All the trouble is I'm probably not going to have enough power. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Uh, uh, okay. So this is the start of my ship I guess. So now I can go ahead and do weapons. No. Weapons. Weapons. So what are you? 
Now there's all sorts of weapons on here. Most of this will be, uh, it's sort of annoying really that I can't have many forward facing weapons, but that's, I guess it's just because of the design of the ship I've made. That's a backward facing weapon apparently. And now, if I do, what are you? I'm assuming that the further you scroll down, the more powerful the weapon is, so I'll just go ahead and spam something, because I'm hoping to get into some form of battle with this and just spam weapons, uh, just to see how fast or if I can kill something. Oh god, it won't let me place it. Can I place it there? No? Why is it an evil game? Boom. Really? You won't let me place it there? Okay. Screw it, I'm gonna go freeform. Bugger you and your nodes. Aha! I have you now. I have you now, game. You cannot defeat me. So I plonk all the weapons onto here. I'm not quite sure if these will turn, so it'll be the only ship that can really only fire up. And I'll also place a few on the rear. They always look bigger than what I already have, but oh well. I'm just mucking about just to give you guys a bit of a giggle as I fail and bumble through the game yet again. The, the developer actually contacted me, uh, well via the comments, to say there's an update coming out soon uh, that'll fix the various bugs I've been encountering such as emissions and stuff, so I'll keep up to date with this game. So I've got an abomination so far, so if I right click and do subsystem, I can add all sorts onto the back. I can add up to 32 onto here. So if I make... Oh god, no. Hmm. That gives me that, and then I can make engine boost. <coughs> don't really need any ammo at the moment. Uh, I'm just messing around, so... I don't really care if I get blown to smithereens as soon as I leave the port like I did before. Uh, subsystem. And then that again. And then this. It's right click, by the way, to open the subsystems. I keep forgetting myself. So I had to remind myself don't judge me. Don't you be judging me. Make that. And then on number four. If you don't add the subsystems. The subsystems, once I can get my words out straight, um, you end up with a more or less a dead ship. You can't really do much if you forget to put your subsystems in. Like I did the first time I tried it, yelling at me about the kinetic barrier. I was like, but why? Apparently it's needed. So, why is there such a... Oh, okay, so that thing protects your ship. I'll make a 64, or why not? 64. I'll make get some crew beds in. Cruise quarters because it's quite a large ship. Uh, I'll make, get a few reactors in. Now this will fill up the entire thing as far as I know. I think. Yes, it does. It. Yeah. All the storage accumulates uh, into one sort of pool. So I'm gonna make a jump drive because I tried to use a jump drive if you remember previously, but my ship wasn't actually big enough to fit the jump drive in and everything else I had in it. I'll put a little bit of armor in, just spam armor, I'm not entirely sure what does what. But I'm guessing the further you go down the stronger it is. Um, what else? How much power? Power needed, okay I need some more power. <coughs> there we go. Blown the power out the water. So, this is it so far. What else can I add? Weapons, misc. What's misc? What are you? A spike fin. What the hell is a spike fin? Should I just stick a spike fin on just for the giggles? I'm not sure what a spike fin does, but I'm sure it's awesome as the rest of the game. I'm a bit sad that there's no hanger though. Um, it was just annoying that. Let's see, part 5. Can I add part 5 things onto a part 4? Like, can I add... Do, can I be silly? And add a part 1 CC onto this? Oh god! 
<laughs> I didn't mean to do that. No! Go away! Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, I got a little cold. So I've been coughing all over the place. Oh god! Oh god! Okay! This should be. <laughs> I don't care, I can't spell that, but uh, the, the launch. Yes, overwrite ship, there's no ship to overwrite, but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> okay, so, and here goes nothing. Let's see what sort of weapons I have, so. Currently going along at a princely speed. Gradually increasing, I have got. I'm pressing the wrong button there. So, I can actually sort of see more of the ship this time with the little kind of CC squash onto the front. I'm sure the pilots in there are terrified of anything that's going on, but overall this game looks really good. Let's see what weapons I've got. Oh, I can only fire you. I can only fire you. Really? Are you for reals? Oh no, okay. That's weird. Okay, well, I can see the rest of the, the weapons sort of moving, but they're not really doing much. Which is a bit odd. Okay, so now the rear one's firing. Oh, so it depends on which way I'm facing. I get it now. Depending on which way my craft is facing, it'll change where it fires, which is quite nice, I guess. Now, I'm going to switch to another section to see if I can encounter a few baddies. Oh god, I can't see. There we go. Still can't see, because I bugged my cursor. There we go. I still had the aiming cursor on. So, let's go. Can I move? Yes, I can. Asteroid field. What's in the asteroid field? I've never been to an asteroid field. This should be interesting. Right, so I'm currently piloting in an asteroid field with a slightly different abomination ship that I am half tempted to upload just for a bit of a giggle to the uh, Steam. Um, what's it called? How far away is this? A few kilometres, a few thousand kilometres. Why won't you let me right click you? So I can right click you but I can't right click you. That makes total sense. Now if I turn off the kinetic barriers as I explained in the previous game, I can hit stupid speed as you can see. I'm now climbing and climbing and climbing so sometimes there's not even a need to really worry about taking a while to get to places. I'm going to warp there. As you can see I go much faster. I have no idea, uh, once again, what the jump drive does, though. I have yet to work out what the jump drive does. I'm not even sure what the controller is for the jump drive. Let's find out. Da -da 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 -da. Micro warp drive. Shift T. What does micro warp, warp drive do? Shift T. Shift T. Oh, it's that. Okay, so I'm sort of warping. Can I control myself? No, I can't. Stop warping, you bugger. I haven't really encountered anything yet, as you'd expect. Ooh, there's an asteroid over there. Can I drive towards you? <coughs> or are you but a figment, a figment of my imagination? Apparently there is enemies, but I haven't um, seen anything yet. The bottom right is saying three out of three enemies. Just if I speed towards you at the speed of light. Sort of, not at all, but I'm going somewhere! Don't judge me. Really, really nice visuals. I can. I really like games where they sort of have actually tried to make it look really nice. Like, uh, as I'm doing this, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's as if the camera has stuff on it. So it's sort of doing some kind of bloom effect. And I guess I can't really go to it. It's an asteroid field with no asteroids. I have been short changed. God damn it all. Okay. Unless that's a big asteroid, I can't really tell. The thing I'm heading towards looks like a big asteroid. 
Oh, I can't really see any enemies. Can I just fire directly up? Oh, will they all fight at once? Oh god, they will! And I don't know if you can see that, but I'm going so fast that the bullets are sort of warping a little bit. Oh god, lag. I am moving through a cloud at the moment. I think I'm going sideways. I am. I am going sideways. Also, that's really nice. It's a case of I'm going to go ahead and turn my kinet kinetic virus back on again just to slow down. I'm going to warp to one of the other bases, uh, a line two. God damn it. There we go. A line two. A line two. Do it. A line two. Oh, it was over there. Okay. How far away are you? Yeah, that far away. So if I do warp and I do that many kilometers, I think. Okay, so I'm not far away now. I'm going to go ahead and jump to another place. That shows my current position, the little thing over there. I haven't been to the edge yet, so maybe there's more enemies at the edge. I have no idea. Let's have a look. <coughs> Ooh, fancy. So I am moving. Oh god. Wrong button. Wrong button. For the for the big ship it is quite maneuverable. I, I was thinking it was gonna take me ages to turn anywhere. And that's a really nice looking planet. What I do hope they do is I hope that right now it just says planet proximity warning. I'd want to see ships actually sort of pulled apart by the gravity, like to see it burn up in the atmosphere and uh, maybe you can fire a few escape pods off just to give it uh, a bit more realism in with my uh, ship of derp, my weird ass ship. Uh, I'm sort of disappointed I haven't found any enemies but as you said again, um, the developers are releasing a patch soon. Which, which, as soon as it's released, I will jump on and probably record again. Oh, we have sp spotted suspicious activity. Really? You susp spotted suspicious activity at the planet, have you now? Okay. How far away are you? That's not that far away, so I'm just going to go ahead and walk towards it. Not walk towards it, but drive towards it at my stupid speed. And maybe I can actually get some form of battle. So I'm travelling to the waypoint as my speed builds. Gradually, surely but surely. It's a bit weird. I'm go it, it says I'm going at X miles an hour, but it's not really adding up to what speed I'm actually going at. So it's reducing a lot now. I'm guessing the target might be moving. So if, he, if the target's somehow moving at a similar speed to me, then... Uh, that sort of explains it. Though I don't think that's actually the target. I think that's the goddamn planet I'm driving towards. It should be interesting. Now the reason I didn't warp towards the target is I think warping breaks it. Which is the issue I ran into earlier. Um, for some bizarre reason if I warp it kind of um, goes nope. So if I turn back on my kinetic barriers I can slow right down and find out oh I'm 200 kilometers away oh no wonder yeah I'm gonna speed up again that's what sort of confused me I thought it was meters and not kilometers okay that makes sense why it wasn't reducing that much it's definitely at the side of the planet that's no moon it's a space station And it's slowly moving. Oh god, enemies? Really? Where? Why are you so disappointed me, game? Although, it's not really disappointing, it is an alpha and I did run into it before, so. Really good game. I'm, before I leave I'm uh, and um, save it until next time, I'm going to go ahead and try and jump to one more place just to see what else there is. So, let's try Yundun, you done goofed. Sector 3. What's in Sector 3? Oh god, it's red! 
as I power along and that's the the, uh, the sun there really really nice visuals it's this game really does have potential I am kinda looking forward to it but I'm gonna go ahead and crash into a planet because I feel like it just to end this video in a bit of style but I never have style so it will just be ending the video Kinetic barriers off and let's go into the bright light that is this sun or dwarf or whatever it is. It's very reflective, it's probably an ice planet. Probably plenty of ice creams can be made out of this planet if you so choose to. I don't know. Can you make ice creams out of a planet? Probably not. You need a massive cone. What am I even talking about now? I don't know! Ice cream on the brain. For whatever reason. I kind of wish I could zoom in a little bit more. I can't really. I can only really zoom in when I'm building the ship. I can't zoom in once I'm flying it. But maybe if I do a V, you know, that just gives me first person view. So I can now fly the ship using my mouse and fire, fire at the planet. Okay. God damn it, you take so long. I wanted to go spectacular into the distance, so I'm gonna walk towards you. Wee! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Uh. Okay. Now here we go. Into the abyss. Into the abyss we go. I switch to the next view. That has caught me out a few times where I've accidentally mashed V. I'm like, what the hell? I can't drive my ship anymore. But then I realised it's too with the mouse. Any moment now, I'm gonna get planet proximity warning because the entire thing's starting to fill up my screen as I go towards it at 16, 17 thousand meters a second. This should be interesting, or maybe I'll just blow into smithereens like I did before. Ah, I'm gonna warp. Do the time warp. We oh god. <laughs> okay, so that's that. I'm apparently warping while I'm dead. And at minus 1,000. Uh, stupidly large number. As your ship atomizes around you, you have one thought that remains in your head. I am an idiot. Okay, that's all from me for now. I'll pick up this game later. Really enjoying it. Let's see you for now.